Hello dear friends, good afternoon. This is a Saturday afternoon and uh, time to go back to work. Kind of stressed. So <clears throat> I was just thinking maybe we should share about our thoughts of going back to work. I do not want to go back to work. Don't be afraid. Not only you, it happens the same to your boss. He or she does not want she or he does not want to go back to work, neither. So, <clears throat> well, if there is a chance, everybody wants to enjoy, and uh, it's part of uh, our life. And, uh, well, maybe some people enjoy work more, but um, just uh, finding your own passion is the most important, is the core of uh, of this um, vacation. So this vacation we went to ski and we stayed at home and my family is passionate about doing the things they like and uh, I was left alone, left out. And then I was thinking that's the beauty of a family, that's the beauty of vacation. Vacation does not have to be have to be going out, going away. The core value of vacation is uh, is regenerating ourselves. And uh, by regenerating, you can sleep to regenerate yourself, you can drink to regenerate yourself, you can eat to generate yourself, or you can do the things that you are passionate about and uh, you do the thing you want to do to generate yourself. That is the most enriching and uh, powerful generation, regeneration. So I think it's just, uh, it's just, um, it's just the right that we stop and uh, so that we can appreciate more of our vacation and uh, understand that we work for our vacation, we vacation for our work. It's a good cycle. And uh, we take a good rest, finding ourselves, so that we can go back work with, um, with the right, um, not too stressed, with the right um, relaxation, with the, with the right mental mood. And, uh, and also, when we go back to work, we look forward because in four or five days, that, w that will be vacation again, that will be weekend, and then Martin Luther King Day, and then this and that. There will be a lot of things to look forward, so don't, uh, don't be too, too scared of going back to work. Don't be too scared of hard things, hard, harsh things and hard things are supposed to be there to make our sweet things sweeter, to make our easy things easier, to make our happy things happier. So, <clears throat> so maybe we just need to sit down and uh, give ourselves some time to think what we need to prepare next time for the next morning when we woke up. So the whole vacation, Sometimes in some vacations I could wake up early, but this vacation, for some reason, I always sleep late and wake up late. So it's just different each vacation. So I want to give myself some time to prepare tomorrow's work, to prepare my tomorrow's lesson plan, if, we, if I can prepare beyond tomorrow, good for me. If I cannot, at least I prepare for tomorrow. And um, check the weather and um, prepare tomorrow's clothes, tomorrow's closing, and uh, check calendar to see what is the fun thing to do after tomorrow. Tuesday is my light day where I am going to do, uh, where I'm going to go and what I am going to do, what else, and uh, go to a good coffee shop, go prepare lunch for tomorrow. So 
by just slowly getting yourself into the mood. Tomorrow is something that you will look forward. We deserve to look forward every day. And I look forward to tomorrow because um, because tonight I will prepare things so that tomorrow morning when I wake up, I know what to do. And uh, I know that I have worked for that moment. Anyway, so uh, <clears throat> today's outfit of the day is quite unflattering clothing. And uh, for the whole vacation, I <laughs> for the whole vacation, two weeks, I have been wearing the same clothes, no change, almost. So in the night, I wash it, and the daytime, I, I, I wear it because it's so comfortable. And it's definitely not flattering, but it's just so comfortable. And it's vacation, I do not need to care. And uh, the furthest thing I go is going to a grocery shopping and uh, buy some uh, toothpaste, uh, shampoo, or buy some milk and things. So I do not need to make a big deal of it. So it's very, very comfortable. You can take a look. I think this is good. So this is children's pens, and I wear these pens I bought in Ikea. Tuck in. 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 Tuck pop culture and modern culture <laughs> uh, <laughs> consultant. He told me I have to tuck in, so let me tuck it in. And it's a stretch one, so it's very comfortable. So I will tuck in. <laughs> is this better or is that coming out better? Okay, let me do it both way. I have one tucking and one getting out. It's more it's fun this way. So this pair of shoes I bought in Cluj in um, Cluj in Romania, and then we went to Dracula's castle with this and uh, climbing mountain. It's just uh, so comfortable, so comfortable. And I know it does not look good. And this shirt is my son's shirt. And uh, just uh, so, 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 so comfortable. So, 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 so. So when I'm cold, I wrap it up like this. Wrap it up like this. And, uh, when I am not so cold, I just do it like this. Anyway, <laughs> front, 10 seconds, front, back, it is just so, 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 so comfortable, this closing. And who cares about fashion? Just comfortable. Sometimes we have to give room to comfortness, to comfort, easiness, and comfort, and laziness. I am so happy that uh, in the vacation, our family find the things, each of us find the things of ourself. It's so much more important than anything else. I hope you enjoy.
Bye bye, friends. I love you. I really do. Happy Monday. Look forward to tomorrow.